भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. And the primal cause of all causes. And the primal cause of all causes. Of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. Of the creation, sustenance, destruction of the manifested universes. <coughs> hmm. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. And he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge into the heart of Brahmaji, the original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. as one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen in fire or land seen in water. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. As one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen in fire or land seen in water. Only because of him did the material universes Temporarily manifested by reactions of the three modes of nature. Appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna, who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode, which is forever free from the illusory representations in the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Dharma Pujita Kaitra Votra. Dharma Pujita Kaitra Votra. Paramo Nirmatsara Nam Satam. Paramo Nirmatsara Nam Satam. Vedyam Vastava Matra Vastu. Vedyam Vastava Matra Vastu. Shivadam Tapa Trayon Mulanam. Shivadam Tapa Trayon Mulanam. Shivad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Shivad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Kimba Pure Ishwaraha. Sadyohidi avarudyate tra. Kriti bihi sususupis takshanat. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth. Which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. This beautiful Bhagavatam compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity is sufficient in itself for God realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, 
The Supreme Lord is established within his heart. Nigama kalpatarur galitam fulam. Sukamakad amrita dravya samyatam. Pibata bhagavatam rasam alayam. Muhur ahoras kabuvi bhavakaha. O expert and thoughtful men, relish Srimad Bhagavatam. The mature fruit of the desire to read Vedic literatures. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadeva Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Although its nectarian juice was already relishable for all. Shinvatam Swakata Krishna. Punya Shravana Kirtana Hidyam Taksto Bhadrani Vidyunati Srihit Satam To hear about Krishna from Vedic literatures or to hear from him directly through the Bhagavad Gita is itself righteous activity. And from one who hears about Krishna Lord Krishna, who is dwelling in everyone's heart, acts as a best-wishing friend and purifies the devotee who constantly engages in hearing of, engages in hearing of him. Nasta preesu badresu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati utamasloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki. In this way, a devotee who uh, a devotee naturally develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. His dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam and from the devotees, he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. Tadarajas tamo bhavo. Tadarajas tamo bhavo. Kama loba dayas chaye. Kama loba dayas chaye. Chete taranavidam. Sditvam sattve prasidati. By development of devotional service of the Lord. <coughs> I'm sorry. By development of devotional service, one becomes freed from the modes of passion and ignorance. One becomes, becomes passion and ignorance, okay. and the, and thus material lust and avarice are diminished. Evam prasana manaso, Bhagavat bhakti yoga taha, Bhagavat tattva vigyanam, muktasanga sijayate. When these impurities are wiped away, the candidate remains steady in his position of pure goodness. Becomes enlivened by devotional service and understands the science of God perfectly. Vidyate hridaya grantis chidyante sarvasam saya Siyante chasyakarmani Drista evatmanishwari Thus, bhakti yoga severs the hard knot of material affection and enables one to come to the stage of a samsayam samagam. Understanding of the Supreme Absolute Truth Personality Godhead. Understanding of the Absolute Truth Personality Godhead. The Supreme, understanding the supreme Absolute Truth Personality Godhead. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 14, Text Number 12. Shivai Sodhyantam Adityam. Abiroti ana an analanana. Abiroti analanana. 
mamanga sarya mayo yam abire bat yabir uvat Translation by Srila Prabhupada. Just see, O Bhima, how the sea jackal cries at the rising sun and vomits fire, and how the dog barks at me fearlessly. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. These are some bad omens indicating something undesirable in the near future. So, not only can we understand by from our body our body but also there are other signs outside of our body that indicate something very bad or undesirable is going to happen text 13 shasta kurvanti mam savyam dakshinam pasavo pare Vahamscha purusha yagra lakshaye rudato mama Translation by Srila Prabhupada. O Bhimasena, tiger amongst men. Now useful animals like cows are passing me on my left side. And lower animals like asses are circumambulating me. My horses appear to weep upon seeing me. So these are more symptoms. Right? Text number 14. Mityuduta kapato yam. Vishwam by Sunyam Ichata. Vishwam by Sunyam Ichata. Just see, the pigeon is like a messenger of death. The shrieks of the owls and their rival crows make my heart tremble. It appears that they want to make a void of the whole universe. There are more symbols outside of the body that something bad is going to happen. Dumra disa paridhaya. Dumra disa paridhaya. Kampate bu sahadridhihi. Kampate bu sahadridhihi. Nirgatascha bahamstata. Nirgatascha bahamstata. Sakam chastan yit nubihi. Sakam chastan yit nubihi. Just see how the smoke encircles the sky. It appears that the earth and mountains are throbbing. Just hear the cloudless thunder and see the bolts from the blue. Text 16. Vayu vati kara sparso. Huh? What? Some of you some don't understand what that means. You mean the bolts from the blue? Yeah. Well, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> huh? Okay. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, because it's talking about thunder. Vayuvati kara sparso. Vayuvati kara sparso. Rajasa visrajam stama. Rajasa visrajam stama. Asrik varsanti jalada. Asrak varsanti jalada. Vibat sam iva sarvata. Vibat sam iva sarvata. The wind blows violently, blasting dust everywhere and creating darkness. Clouds are raining everywhere with bloody disasters. Well, uh, yeah, this is, this is interesting because before World War II, 
there were terrible dust storms in the Midwest of the United States due to uh, what you would call abusive farming. And those dust storms, the gigantic clouds of, of dust, it made the day look dark and like choked people. And the dust storms went from the Midwest to the East Coast. And then places like Washington and New York, other cities were also engulfed in this darkness. So, and then very soon after that, there was World War II. <coughs> and it says, clouds are raining everywhere with bloody disasters. So that means there's flooding. And winds blowing violently, blasting dust everywhere and creating darkness. Interesting. Suryam hata prabham basya. Suryam hata prabham basya. Graham adam mito divi. Graham adam mito divi. Sasankulair bhuta, bhuta ganair. Sasankulair bhuta ganair. Jualite ivo rodasi. The rays of the sun are declining, and the stars appear to be fighting amongst themselves. Confused living entities appear to be ablaze and whipping and weeping. So there are plenty of signs of something that's going to some disaster coming. Text 18. Nadyo nadas chashubita. Saram si cha manam si cha. Saram si cha manam si cha. Najwala ti agnir ajena. Najwala ti agnir ajena. Kalo yam kim vidasyati. Kalo yam kim vidasyati. Rivers, tributaries, ponds, reservoirs, and the mind of all uh, are all perturbed. Butter no longer lights and uh, no longer ignites fire. What is this extraordinary time? What is going to happen? Text 19. The Pibanti Stanam Vatsa. The Pibanti Stanam Vatsa. The Duyanti Chamatara. The Duyanti Chamatara. Rudant Yasru Mukha Gavo. Narishyant Rishabhav Rajay. Narishyant Rishabhav Rajay. The calves do not suck the teats of the cows, nor do the cows give milk. They are standing, crying, tears in their eyes, and the bulls take no pleasure in the pasturing grounds. Ah, now this is really bad. Text 20. Daivatani Rudanti Va. Sridhyanti Yuchalam Ticha Sridhyanti Yuchalam Ticha Ime Janapada Grama Ime Janapada Grama Puro Dhyana Karasrama Puro Dhyana Karasrama Prasta Sriyo Niran Anda Kimagam dasayantina. Kimagam dasayantina. The deities seem to be crying in the temple, lamenting and perspiring. They seem about to leave. All the cities, villages, towns, gardens, mines, and hermitages are now devoid of beauty and bereft of all happiness. I do not know what sort of calamities are now awaiting us. Manya eta mahot pater. Manya eta mahot pater. Nunam bhagavata padai. Nunam bhagavata padai. Ananya purusha shri bir. Ananya purusha shri bir. Hina burhata sobhaga. Hina burhata sobhaga. I think that all these earthly disturbances 
indicates some greater loss to the good fortune of the world. So we have bodily signs, and now you have these earthly disturbances. The world was fortunate to have been marked with the footprints of the lotus feet of the Lord. These signs indicate that this will no longer be. So, all right, you just can understand Lord Krishna has ended his visible pastimes in the material world, or at least in this part of the material world. Iti chinta yatas tasya Dristaristena chaitasa Rajna pratyagamad brahman Yadupuya kapidvaja O Brahmana, Sonaka, or Maharaj Yudhisthira, observing the inauspicious signs on the earth at that time, was thus thinking to himself, Arjuna came back from the city of the Yadus, Dwarka. Tampadayor nipatitam ayata purvam aturam adho vadanam abindun srijantam nayanab jayo when he bowed at his feet, the king saw that his dejection was unprecedented. His head was down and tears glided from his lotus eyes. Vilok yodvigna hridayo vichayam anujam ripa pritjati Sma Shrihin Madye Sam Smaran Naradevitam Seeing Arjuna pale due to heartfelt anxieties, the king, remembering indications of the sage Narada, questioned him in the midst of friends. Yudhisthira Uvacha Kachit anatta puryamna Swajana sukamasate Muda boja dasar harha Satvat antaka prishnaya Maharaj Yudhisthira said, my dear brother, please tell me whether our friends and relatives such as Madhu, Boja, Dasara, Arha, Satvata, Andaka, and the members of the Yadu family are all passing their days in happiness. Text 26. Suro Matamaha Kachit Swastyaste Varata Mahisa Matula San Uja Kaschit Matula San Uja Kaschit Kushal Yana Kadundubihi Is my respectable grandfather Surasena in a happy mood? And are my material uncle, Vasudeva, and his younger brothers all doing well? Text 27. Saptaswa saras tat patnyo matulana sahat maja asate sasnusa shemam Devaki Pramukaha Swayam. His seven wives, headed by Devaki, are all sisters. Are they and their sons and daughters in law all happy? Text 28 and 29. Kachit 
Raja Huko Jivati Asat Kucho Syaka Chanuja Asat Kucho Syaka Chanuja Vidika Sasuto Kuro Vidika Sasuto Kuro Jayanta Gadasarana Jayanta Gadasarana Asate Kushalam Kachid Asate Kushalam Kachid Yecha Sat Rujid Adaya Yecha Sat Rujid Adaya Kachid Aste Sukham Ramo Kachid Aste Sukham Ramo Bhagavan Satvatam Prabhu Bhagavan Satvatam Prabhu Our Ugrasena, whose son was the mysterious Kamsa, and his younger brother still living, our Hidika and his son Kritavarma, happy, our Akrura, Jayanta, Gada, Sarana, Satrajit, all happy. How is Balarama, the personality of Godhead, and the protector of devotees, purport by his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada, Hastinapura, the capital of the Pandavas, was situated somewhere near present New Delhi. And the kingdom of Ugrasena was situated in Mathura. While returning to Delhi from Dwarka, Arjuna must have visited the city of Mathura, and therefore the inquiry about the king of Mathura is valid. Amongst various names of the relatives, the name of Rama or Balarama, eldest brother of Lord Krishna, is added with the words, the personality of Godhead. Because Lord Balarama is the immediate expansion of Vishnu Tattva as Prakasa Vigraha of Lord Krishna. The Supreme Lord, although one without a second, expands himself as many other living beings. The Vishnu Tattva living beings are expansions of the Supreme Lord, and all of them are, the qualitative, are qualitatively and quantitatively equal with the Lord. But expansions of the Jiva Shakti, the category of the ordinary living beings, are not at all equal with the Lord. One who considers the Jiva Shakti and the Vishnu Tattva to be on an equal level is considered a condemned soul of the world. So that's the Mayavadis. They're condemned. Sri Rama, or Balarama, is the protector of the devotees of the Lord. Baladeva acts as the spiritual master of all devotees, and by his causeless mercy, the fallen souls are delivered. Sri Baladeva appeared as Sri Nityananda Prabhu during the advent of Lord Chaitanya, and the great Lord Nityananda Prabhu exhibited his causeless mercy by delivering a pair of extremely fallen souls named Jagai and Madai. Therefore, it is particularly mentioned here that Balarama is the protector of the devotees of the Lord. By his divine grace only, one can approach the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna, and thus Sri Balarama is the mercy incarnation of the Lord, manifested as the spiritual master, the savior of the pure devotees. Sila Prabhupada Patita Bhavana Ki So, one interesting thing is that uh, Balaram did not always agree with Krishna, but he always remained surrendered to the Lord. That is very interesting. He was, he liked very much Duryodhana. So, when Duryodhana was going to fight with Bhima, Balaram was present. But he saw that uh, what he considered Bhima unfairly uh, wounded, mortally wounded, uh, Duryodhana. However, and then also in the onset of the Battle of Kurukshetra, he favored Duryodhana, but Krishna asked him to go and on uh, Parikram and not get involved in the war. And also, Balaram was pleased to see, or well, thought that, you know, his, his sister, Subhadra, was going to marry, I think, Sisupala. But Krishna arranged Arjuna to kidnap 
Draupadi, I mean, uh, uh, Subhadra, and eventually, I mean, Balaram wanted to go after Arjuna, but uh, again, he uh, deferred to his brother uh, or Krishna's uh, instructions. So we see sometimes we may not agree, but a devotee always remains submissive to higher authorities. Now, if Balaram remains submissive to Krishna, well, that should be an indication to us also uh, to always be submissive to Krishna and Krishna's pure uh, representative, like the spiritual master. Of course, if someone is a nonsense, that's different, but if someone is st strictly following the regulative principles, uh, and is an authority. One, one may disagree, but one should not interfere with the instructions of, of such a person. And then uh, also, like it says, prakasa vigraha. So uh, we read the other day, prakasa means there's no difference. Well, there's a slight difference, but. Uh, uh, Balaram has the full power of Lord Krishna. How do we know that? Well, one example is that he has he dances with the gopis. Of course, there's a different set of gopis, but they're still gopis. So uh, that's another indication that he's non-different than Krishna. Nobody else can dance with the gopis. Of course, there was one demon, uh, the gorilla demon, he thought he could dance with the go gopis, but he was immediately killed by Balaram. So we never should assume to be on an equal level with uh, empowered personalities. Of course, no one is more empowered than Lord Balaram. But yet, uh, when he comes as Lord Nityananda, he's the most merciful. He even accepts the wound and blood, a bloody wound of uh, the, the brothers, Jagai and Madai, and forgives them. And then Lord Chaitanya is not ready to forgive them. He's going to kill them. And then Balaram beseeches the Lord, please, you've come, you've appeared in this special form as Patita Pavana, uh, the giver of mercy to even the most fallen. And these two are the most fallen. So if you kill them, you have to kill everybody. So then you won't be able to accomplish your mission. So please forgive these two. So Lord Chaitanya does forgive Shagaya Madai for wounding uh, Lord Nityananda. But he says, from this point on, you have to promise not to commit any more sins. So that's a one, one symbol of initiation. When we are initiated, we have to promise not to commit sins such as meat eating, gambling, illicit sex, and intoxication. And if we do, we are directly responsible for the results. Uh, and the result will be a catastrophe in our life. So this promise at the moment of, of initiation uh, is, in other words, this promise is what's necessary in order to uh, always have the benediction of the disciplic succession, ultimately, ultimately going up to Krishna. If we break that, prom the, that promise, then uh, we again fall into the trap of, of karma. And on the same, at the same time, we cause suffering to the spiritual master. So. It's a very solemn vow that we take, and, and we, we should take it solemnly. Otherwise, it just causes so much trouble in, in our life, and it causes trouble to the spiritual master. So Balaram is the original spiritual master, and he demonstrates as Lord Nityananda his infinite, infinite mercy for uh, surrendered souls. and. He also demonstrates that even though there might be a disagreement with Krishna, he always follows Krishna's uh, order or advice. 
So that's interesting. Just like uh, at one time, uh, or many times, there was different problems in ISKCON, and Prabhupada said, well, just be patient, continue to uh, cooperate with the authority, and when I come, I'll, I will try and uh, straighten out the situation. So the breakage of, of uh, cooperation is, is not a good thing. Why? Because people think, oh, well, I'm not going to do my service anymore because this person is a nonsense. Well, wait a minute. Uh, Krishna is not a nonsense. The deities are not nonsense. They're just there waiting for you to do the service to give you a chance to go back to Godhead. So we should never give up our service, no matter how difficult the situation is. And no situation or nobody's deviation will last forever. It will it'll gradually, it'll eventually, either quickly or in the long term, be corrected by Krishna and, and uh, Prabhupada. So therefore, we should remain steady in our service regardless of the conditions. And whoever has remained steady, they're still around. It's like Prabhupada said, I'm not surprised by those who leave. I'm surprised by the ones that stay. So that staying uh, determination, just like he told the, the two brothers in Mayapur, Janani Vas and his brother, never to leave. They're still there. They've never left, you know what Maybe once in a while to collect money for the TOVP, but, but not, they've never left their service. So that type of uh, persistent dedication is the sign of an advanced devotee. It's the sign of advanced. And the people would say, oh, the, the, the conditions here are no good. I'm going to go somewhere else, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And so the, they're always... Uh, going forward a little bit, and then they go backwards. And so 50 years later, they're still doing the same thing, never finishing anything, always, uh, you know, leaving to go to uh, greener grass on the other hills. You know. <laughs> Just like a friend of mine uh, called me up. I haven't seen him for about, uh, I would say, 30-plus years. And uh, he, he said uh, he's looking to have service somewhere else. I said, well, how many times did you change your service? He said, he said, you were in Berkeley, then you were in Denver, then you are in Dallas, then you are in India, then you came back. You know, he kept going to all these different places. He said, yeah, and also I just uh, divorced my wife. I said, Really? I said, you, you're, you, well, what are you going to do? He said, well, I'm thinking of getting married again. <laughs> I said, that's a big mistake. He said, no, 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 she's a really nice girl. <laughs> so you see, there's, it, that, that is not good. Well, the fact that wherever he goes, he does service, that's a fact. But still, he personally, uh, and wherever he goes, the service he does is good. He's not, he's not, he's not a... Uh, a uh, mediocre person, but, but still, that changing all the time, going here, going there, and then divorcing his wife, then trying to get a new wife, you know, I mean, he's in his late 60s. So all that is a bad sign. One should be steady in devotional service. And if there's uh, some uh, disagreement, one should remain steady and follow the authority uh, unless the authority is telling you something to do something illegal or, or sinful, but no, uh, because Krishna is, is there, the deity is there. Uh, Krishna is, hasn't done anything wrong, so why why should we leave? And any situation will be rectified because Krishna is the supreme personality of God. He's the controller of every situation. So therefore, we have to just be patient. Okay, those are a few points. Are there any questions or comments? Um, this the last point. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you know, sometimes some devotee they are 
face in a very favorable circumstances. A very what circumstance? Favorable. Favorable, yes. Favorable circumstances because you don't need to go anywhere else to stick to that uh, instruction. But some, sometimes the boy is struggle so hard to get in, in some circumstances, you know. And they have to um, try to adjust, you know, try not to adjust. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, they stop to say for some time to do something else, not something like material, but trying to find different strategy how to, to again, you know, uh, boost his service. You know. Well, we've seen that, that when Vidura was seriously insulted, by Duryodhana, and Dhritarashtra didn't stop it. Then he left, because he realized they had gone crazy. And uh, they were planning to you know, kill the Pandavas and all those things, so he left. And we see also Vibhishan, when his brother accused him of being like a traitor and kicked him and, and really abused him and wouldn't listen to any good advice about giving Sita back, then he left. Those are extreme, extreme situations, you see. Uh, however, in general, one should not leave their service, right? except maybe in extreme conditions like that. See. So those are two examples. There might be some other examples also. But, uh, well, also Dhritarashtra, right? When it was inappropriate for him to be under the protection of Yudhisthira. Uh, Vidura it convinced him that he should leave. But he, he didn't leave uh, because of something wrong. I, well, I mean, he, he was wrong to take that shelter because he wanted more, he wanted to sustain his son sense gratification. So Vidura convinced him to leave the palace and prepare for death. So this leaving one's service, it's only in very extreme conditions. You should see it like that, very extreme conditions. And generally, one should not leave. Haribo. All glories to Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.